Hi guys, welcome back. The examples that I'm going to be talking about right now will correspond with your assignment that will be due on May 7th, okay? We are talking about lower and upper quartiles, okay? And that is just a fancy word for um, splitting data points up into quarters, okay? So right off the bat, I'm just going to um, kind of define this, okay? So we are splitting data points into quarters, right? Quarters, quartiles, okay? Um, so quarters, think of like four quarters in a dollar, so, or four pieces. Okay, so that's what we're doing today, is we're basically splitting our data points just into four pieces, four even pieces, okay? so. We're gonna go over two examples today, two data points, and then you guys will do three um, problems on your own for this example or assignment, sorry, excuse me. Okay, so let's get right into it. It's asking us to find the lower and upper quartiles. Okay, so the first data point that we're given runs in a softball game. Okay, you guys should know by now, I've talked about softball plenty. Um, runs, that just means points, right? They don't say points in baseball and softball, it's runs. Okay, fun fact, fun non-math fact. Okay, so let's write down our steps for finding the lower and upper quartile. Okay, so our first step, we need to find the median. Okay, and if you guys remember from your last assignment, that just means the middle data point. Okay, so in order to find the middle data point, we need to make sure that they're written in numerical order or from smallest to biggest, these guys are, so we don't have to rewrite them. All we need to do is find the middle. Okay, I'm not gonna cross them off this time because I still need to see um, these numbers. Okay, I'm just gonna put dots underneath until we get to the middle. Okay, so remember from last time to find the median, start with one from the front, one from the back. Okay, and then keep going, front, back, front, back, front, back, and there we go. Okay, this five is our median of our total data points, okay? He's in the middle, the very middle, okay? So now what we have, we've now split our data point into two pieces. This first piece is our lower quartile, okay? This piece, okay, goes on right here, is our upper quartile, okay? Or where we're going to find the lower and the upper quartile, right? These are the smaller ones, these are the bigger ones, you can think of it that way, okay? So now our second step, we found the median, we did that. So now what we do is we actually do it again for each quartile. Find the median for each quartile. Okay, this just means we're gonna take our first half and we're gonna find the middle of that. And then we're gonna take the second half and find the middle of that, the medians for both. Okay, so I'm gonna do a different color now. So I'm gonna do the same thing. Okay, now if, you, now if you'd like, you can cross them off. Okay, so I'm gonna do one from the front, one from the back, one from the front and one from the back. Okay, notice this is an even number. There is no middle, really. We can't really find the middle between two and three. So here's what we need to do. We're gonna add another step. Okay, add the two middles and divide by Two. Basically, what we're doing is we're actually finding what is in the very middle of two and three. Okay, if you already know, that's awesome. In fact, I'm going to add a little note right there. When it's even. When it's an even number, right? We had four data points here. One, two, three, four. You do not include your median, okay? So, we're going to take two plus three right here. And we're going to divide it by two. Okay, two plus three is five. 5 divided by 2 is 2.5. Okay, so this means that our lower quartile 
we just write it LQ equals 2.5. Okay, we found our lower quartile. Now we need to find our upper quartile. Okay, so again, it's probably going to be an even number, right? We have one, two, three, four that we're, we're dealing with. So one from the front, one from the back, front, back. So now we need to fi figure out what is exactly in the middle of six and seven. So we're gonna take six plus seven, right? We're doing our step three if we need to right here and we're dividing it by two. Six plus seven, 13. 13 divided by two, 6.5. Okay, so our lower quartile was 2.5, right in the middle of 2 and 3. And our upper quartile was 6.5. I can write this UQ right in the middle of 6 and 7. Okay, awesome. So basically what we did is we split it up into four pieces. Boom, our first was from 2 to 2.5, right? Then to 5, then to 6.5, and then to 8, okay? Those are our four pieces. We just split our data points up. We wanted to find exactly in the middle of those. Okay, nice job guys. Let's do that one more time before you're gonna do it on your own. Okay, now we're talking about hours of Netflix watched. Okay, you guys will have data points that involve decimals, that's okay. Okay, so the very first thing, we're gonna follow these same exact steps. So I'll do in blue again right here. So we are finding the median of our entire data set. Okay, so make sure that they're listed in numerical order. They are, and let me just check really quick. Your problems on your assignment should be listed in numerical order. So you shouldn't need to rewrite them. Okay, so now we're just gonna cross off, well actually not cross off, one from the front, one from the back, front, back, front, back, front, back, and boom. There's our median, okay? 6.25 is right in the middle. So now we have our lower quartile and our upper quartile, lower one, smaller numbers, upper one, bigger numbers. Okay, now we're going to do our number three. Actually, no, not number three yet. Okay, we're gonna find the median. Okay, these two and three kind of go together. We're finding the exact middle. Okay, so first thing I'm gonna do, I'm gonna do my lower quartile. Okay, boom, 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 boom. Okay, this is where we're trying to find exactly in the middle of four and 4.25, okay? So I'm gonna bring this, I'm actually gonna draw an arrow down here so you guys can see it. So just like we did up here, add the two middles and divide by two. So we're adding these two guys, four plus 4.25, and we're gonna divide that all by two to get our lower quartile. Okay, let me scoot that up so you guys can see it. Here's our calculator. So let's do four plus 4.25. That's gonna give me 8.25 on top. Okay, and this is where we can divide it by two. In our calculator, divide by two. And that gives us 4.125. Okay, so we found our lower quartile. It was 4.125. Okay, now let's do the same thing for our upper quartile. Again, we have, we have an even number, right? So when I try and cross them off, there's no exact middle. So that's what we need to find right here. Okay, so we're gonna do the same exact thing again, just like we did four plus 4.25. Now we have to add these two guys, 8.25 plus nine to find the exact middle, divide it by two. Okay, so this time we have 8.25 plus nine equals 17.25. We're gonna divide it by two. So divide by two and we get 8.625, okay? 8.625, and that is our upper quartile, UQ, equals 8.625, and that is our answer. Okay, we found the lower and the upper quartile. Okay, follow these steps. Okay, you're going to have to use number three. You're going to have to add up these two numbers that were in the middle, and then divide them by two to find what exactly is in the middle of them, okay? 
4.125 is exactly in the middle between 4 and 4.25. Okay, again, 8.625 is exactly in the middle of 8.25 and 9. Okay, you add those two guys up, divide them by 2, and that'll give you your answers. It's okay to do decimals. You probably will need a calculator, um, but that's all you guys are doing today. Okay, lower and upper quartiles. Okay, you guys are awesome. Stay safe and healthy.